What's up everybody? A lot of you have been asking me how I store my cards and where I store my cards. So today's going to be a little behind the scenes video. I'm going to show you where I keep my cards, how I store them, and how I organize them. And it all starts right here. Okay, so this is my card closet that is in my basement. Uh, this is where I keep all of my cards and whatever little bits of sports memorabilia I have. I do have two teenage daughters, so this is the only area of the house that I have to myself to keep anything. So you can see here on the top shelf, I have two boxes of top loaders. I have some binders uh, and some bins with some loose cards here. I'll show you guys everything in a minute. I have a autographed baseball bat right there. Tino Martinez signed that bat. My wife is a big fan of his. This is a New York Mets jersey that is actually hand signed by Ed Cranepool and Tug McGraw. This here is a tub of just some miscellaneous items I have. I'll show that to you guys in a minute. Here is a tub full of binders which has sets and stars. And here is another tub of binders and sets and stars. Let's take a look at what's in each. Okay, we're going to start from the bottom up here. The bottom tub that you saw, I'm going to show you. This contains a bunch of binders here. What I do with my sets is I have all the sets from 1980 to 1990 from Tops, all the base sets. And what I do is I put my sets in binders. I like to display them. So here's 1985. I have all these on separate videos. If you guys want to check them out, just check out the playlist called My Collection. You can see all this stuff. But what I do is I display all my sets in the binders. You can see here I have a bunch of binders. I'm not going to take every one of them out. And also, if you haven't noticed, I am a Mets fan. I do have a dedicated album with New York Mets cards dating back to the early, from the early 1970s to present. And these are just mainly common players in here. Some are semi-stars. I keep the big stars in another album I'm going to show you in a little bit. And here is a New York Yankees album. Not much of a Yankee fan, but I do live in New York and I do have a lot of, you know, Yankee cards. So I keep those. These are basically my, my two New York, New York team albums here. Okay, moving on to tub number two. This was the second tub that you saw in the video just a few minutes ago. Uh, in here I have two albums here. These are all league leaders and combo cards, as I call them. You know, cards that have like uh, league leaders, team cards, things like that. Kind of like an uncategorized album, pretty much. These are all a bunch of rookies that I have. My really good ones are in the top loaders. Here's a book of players with the last names G through Q, starting with Ron Guidry, Tony Gwynn. Again, I have all of, videos of all of these on my playlist called My Collection. I do a separate video for each album. This is another one here for players A through G. Here's another one for players R through Z. So, and the rest of these are, are set, set binders. Here's the 1983 top set. There's the 1980 top set in there. This here is a mini sets album. These are all different kinds of mini sets, mainly from the 1980s. This is where I keep all my mini sets. And this album here is a 1991 score classic set. Okay, here's the third plastic tub I have here. Third and final tub in the closet. And here I just keep a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I have a couple of autographed photos here. Roger McDowell, Eddie Cranepool, uh, some commemorative Beckett issues. This is the 500 home run club when McGuire hit his 500th. I have a couple of sets in here. This is a 1987 Donruss set. Okay, 
Here's some more of what's in this tub, some more miscellaneous items. I have some a few autographs here. There's an autograph photo of Roberto Alomar. Some Sports Illustrated issues, a 1970 New York Mets book. Some Sports Illustrated issues. So this, this is basically just a miscellaneous tub of magazines and, and autograph photos that I have. This is an original 1980 top sticker album. I collected this. I was eight years old when I put this together. And I have videos on all this other stuff as well. And here's just some other stuff, autographed baseballs. Another autograph book. So this is basically just a miscellaneous tub of non-card stuff. Okay, now onto the final two boxes that you saw on the top. These are my top loader boxes. This is really where I keep the, the meat of my collection, all my really good, valuable cards, Hall of Famers, stars. I've done videos on these, so you can check out my video on, I think I call it the top loaders and stars or something like that. It's on my uh, collection playlist, but this is where I keep all my good stuff. So you'll see all my Hall of Famers are in here. So this is where I protect all of my really good, valuable cards, stars, Hall of Famers, and stuff I like to display. And last but not least, I have a plastic tub here, mainly just because I'm just waiting to get another one of these white boxes to store them. These are all my valuable rookie cards here. These are all my Gwyns, my Hendersons, all my really valuable rookie cards I keep in here, just in top loaders, to, just to kind of separate them from the rest of the cards. But I'm just waiting to get a, a box to keep those in, so they're just in that plastic tub right now. And last but least, here is a Mets jersey I have, like I said, with Tug McGraw and Eddie Cranepool's signatures on him. I actually got them to sign this as I was waiting online for Mets tickets back in 2002 or 2003. And unfortunately, Tug McGraw died a few months later when he had the, I believe it was cancer he died from. But it was nice because they were actually going doing like kind of like a meet and greet as you were waiting online to buy the tickets. So I really don't wear this jersey out. I just like to save it because it has the autographs on it. And here is a baseball bat signed by Tino Martinez. He's a, my wife is a big fan of his, so we went to meet him at a card show one time, but he signed this bat for her. So that is the card closet. That's how I keep my cards organized. I keep all my stars and Hall of Famers and top loaders, my semi-stars and binders, and I keep all my sets and binders. It's basically the way I, I just love to display the cards. Basically, the only cards I put in boxes are commons or cards waiting to go into the plastic uh, top loaders or binders somehow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got to get all this stuff back together. Until next time. Subscribe to Frank's Card Corner.